A family in Melbourne South has been reduced to tears after being told their home of 40 years will be seized by the state government. Dozens of properties in Cheltenham will be compulsorily acquired as part of the level crossing removal program. Sue and Ray Spriggs have lived in their Cheltenham home for four decades, raising two sons. We've supported this community all the way through. And I don't know any other life. Government staff door knocked their home late yesterday with the news that unfortunately the property is likely to be required if either a lowered rail option or a raised rail option for the level crossing proceeds. Renovation plans have stalled. We've got um, a more open plan and we're not going to get to any benefit of it. Cheltenham's Charman and Park Road level crossings will be removed, making way for either a rail bridge or rail trench. There could be dozens of casualties, including Ray Spriggs' 91-year-old mother, who lives nearby. At one end, it will be as many as 36 residential and commercial properties, but depending on the final outcome and the design, it could be uh, much lower than that. Sadly, Sue and Ray Spriggs know they won't be able to save their family home, but they say they will fight for adequate compensation. Nine crossings will be upgraded from Cheltenham to Frankston. Some new rails will be underground, others above ground. The rails stretch likened to a roller coaster. They're going to produce what is in effect a big dipper. And the Big Dipper, in my view, should remain in Luna Park. The government wants locals to choose where the crossings should be above or below ground. Construction is due to begin in 2018. Karen O'Sullivan, 7 News, 